what I have left because of his greed, his selfishness, his complete disregard of and disrespect of others and life. Next, we take you to Cincinnati, Ohio, for the sentencing of 23-year-old Jaleel Smith Riley. Nearly three years earlier, 20-year-old Portia Brooks was in her car with boyfriend Aaron Martin when Smith Riley and two men approached, looking to rob them. You can see the group on the security footage as they near the vehicle. Smith Riley ordered Martin out of the car, and when he didn't have any cash, shot him in the head, causing permanent brain damage. There was a guy outside of the car who looked like he had, like he was bleeding from multiple spots. Smith Riley then leaned into the car and fired at Brooks. There's a lady in it, and she's bleeding. She died three days later. After a lengthy investigation, police arrested Smith Riley, charging him with both shootings. To avoid the death penalty, he pled guilty to aggravated murder and attempted murder. He's now facing a sentence from anywhere between 23 years to life without parole. But before sentencing, with victim Aaron Martin sitting in the gallery, Portia Brooks's family speaks directly to the court as well as the man who shattered their lives. He killed me mentally, emotionally. He killed my identity as a mother of three, as a family of four. This is what I have left because of his greed, his selfishness, his complete disregard of and disrespect of others and life. This is what I have left. I, I talk to her, I kiss her, I hold her. But as you can see, I get nothing back except the reality that she is gone. Next to speak was Portia's younger sister. He wants parole. Well, I want my sister. Let's trade it. I have to deal with life without Portia, so he should deal with life without, without parole. Then it's Smith Riley's turn to try to convince the court that he deserves leniency. And his attorney offers some final words. This is somebody that feels genuine remorse. This is somebody that thinks about this every day, and he knows that he can't go back in time and undo what he did. Finally, it's Judge Charles Kubicki who gets the last word. Poor defendants serve a term of life without parole. It has to count for for the offense of attempted murder. Smith Riley receives a life sentence. He is not eligible for parole. Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Subscribe to A&E to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.